Hi, I'm Elise Sulaiman. I am your cook for today. I am doing a series of videos um, for recipes for you to, um, to see how simple it is to cook Malaysian food. Today we are cooking ikan bakar because it's Ramadan and Ramadan is a very special time for us. Uh, when we break fast, we like to eat something special. So ikan bakar is one of the many special things that we eat. Um, so today I'll be cooking ikan bakar. So now we're going to cook the sambal. The sambal is super simple. Memang senang sangat. All we need is chili and chili padi sebab we like it pedas and then bawang merah and garlic. Itu je. So it's bawang, garlic and chili merah dengan chili padi. So I'm just going to cut up a few and then I'm going to chop these up. So I'm just going to put some chilies and the garlic into our pastel mortar. Okay, now I know why my nenek told me to. Kalau nak guna batu lesung, has to be on the floor because my whole table is moving. So, I buat sikit-sikit lah. So, bit by bit. So, if you have a blender, you can just blitz it all. It will be so much easier. I feel when you do it in the pastel mortar or you buat dalam uh, penumbuk ni kan, dia lagi sedap. I don't know why, but... Or maybe it's the bruising. Maybe it's the bruising actually. So, roughly pound everything. Okay, and then I'm going to scoop it up. Scoop this up. It smells so good already. And then I'm going to do the onion now. Dah lah, panas. Kena exercise tu nak peluh-peluh. Okay. And then, reference for it. So it doesn't have to be so halus. It can be a little bit chunky because kita orang akan masak dua kali so we're going to cook it twice first we're going to cook it in the wok and then we're going to stuff it in the fish and we're going to cook it again so there's no need for it to be completely disintegrated so that's done so whatever else you can just put back in your basket I'm going to move this over here so I don't need it anymore okay and we're going to turn on the fire okay so you turn on the fire okay while we wait for this Kuali to heat up or the pan to heat up. I'm going to talk to you about the oil that I'm using today. It's coconut oil. Coconut oil has a lot of flavor. So you use coconut oil for the sambal and you don't need to uh, add any more ingredients. So basically coconut oil, the chili, the onion, the garlic is going to make it really, really fragrant. Okay, that should be enough. So that is pretty hot already so you can see it bubbling up okay now i'm just gonna add the paste okay it goes straight in yeah it's sizzling and you can smell you can really smell it you can smell the coconut oil you can smell the garlic you can smell the chili okay so it's now been frying for about five to six minutes. I'm just gonna add in some salt, okay, garam, and a little bit of sugar, okay. The sugar helps with the caramelization of the sambal. I'm just gonna put a little bit more salt because don't forget this is gonna be stuffed in the fish. The fish is pretty neutral, the flavor. So this is supposed to be emphasizing it, okay. So that's gonna cook for another four minutes until it's nice and crispy okay so while that's cooking I'm just gonna go grab my fish then we can stuff it but these this needs to cook for a little bit more uh, about a couple more minutes yeah okay so here we have two different types of fish so I have senangin and chincharu really fresh I got it this morning and what I need to do is actually I just need to slice 
the top okay which I'm gonna do now just gonna slice the top bit of the fish slits for the fish okay so this fish needs to be cut doesn't matter if it's a little bit deep it's okay and we're gonna marinate it with some salt and turmeric ah, so here I have turmeric powder I am super organized so I label everything which is easier because sometimes curry powder your different types of fennel seed powder your chili powder all kind of looks the same and I have it in a big box because I cook a lot Okay, so you don't need a big box, so you, you can just have a small jar. But I like to keep everything organized. I like to use a spoon um, because turmeric is yellow, so it might stain your fingers. So just a little bit, maybe about half a teaspoon will be enough. Sprinkle everything on top. I'm trying so hard not to use my hands. <laughs> and then we'll sprinkle some salt. Okay, be a little bit generous with the salt, that's fine. Okay, now I'm just going to flip it over. If your fish is not wet, you can always add a little bit of oil, but I've just washed the fish, so the turmeric powder will stick to the fish. Make sure you go in between the, the slits that you cut earlier on and also the slits of the stomach, okay? And your fish is ready to go. So I'm going to wash my hands now and then we're going to stuff the, the sambal into the fish and then we can wrap it up in banana leaf and then we've got our homemade barbecue pit at the back and we're just going to grill it so it's going to be kabaka. So here we have our banana leaf. There's a few large pieces here so we only just need one so don't worry about it. Put this on the side. What we're going to do is I'm just going to half it. Okay, about foot long each simply a little bit of oil at the bottom okay then you place your fish on top and you add the sambal okay so you add the sambal into the fish make sure that you stuff it in okay Stuff it in and now you wrap your fish. So I wrap both ends first. Fold it. There's no need to use um, chopsticks. Chopsticks. I mean BD. <laughs> Why did I say chopsticks? Okay, there's no need to use a lidi or anything because it's big enough, it's one foot, so you have plenty of space for the banana leaf, okay? So I'm gonna take our second piece. Repeat. Oil. Fish goes on top. Sambal goes inside. Okay. And then, same process, you wrap your fish and you roll it okay tuck it all in so it's nice and tight Ta -da! voila it's done so all you need to do now is you need to place your fish onto the barbie right so i'm gonna cook this on the barbie for about half an hour so 20 minutes half an hour so i'm gonna check it I'm going to turn it every 5 to 8 minutes, okay? So it's evenly cooked. And But if you don't have a barbecue pit, you can always put this in the oven, okay? Under um, about 180 degrees for about 20 minutes to half an hour. It shouldn't be any longer than that because the fish is going to overcook, okay? So I'm just going to put it. It's very, very hot. So I'm just going to put it straight on, okay? There we go. My hands are like gloves, so I don't need any gloves. So let that sit for a while, okay? And I'm gonna check in it, and I'm gonna turn it every every few minutes, okay? It is, ooh, it's okay if the fish falls out. That's okay, it's part of the, look at that. It's already almost cooked. The fish has been cooking on both sides, so I flipped it, okay, every eight minutes. And now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna move it away from the heat in the center. I'm gonna just put it on the side, okay? 
I'm going to cover it. Okay, so what this does is actually it makes it's steaming the fish so it cooks inside because we really got the colour, it's really beautiful. Now we want it to make sure that it's cooked inside. We don't want to give people raw fish for buka puasa, right? Because that's not, it's not sashimi. <laughs> so I'm just going to shut this. Okay. I'm just going to let it cook for about 10 minutes and then it should be done. So after about 20 minutes, because the barbecue was really, really hot, but if you're cooking it in a conventional oven, you need to cook it for about 20 minutes to half an hour. The fish is ready. And how do you check? I took a fork and I flaked the fish. Okay, so if it's flaky, means it's cooked. If it's not cooked, bung it back in the oven or put it back on the barbecue for about five minutes and check again. Okay, so this smells amazing. Now we just have to wait for breakfast to enjoy my fish. So this could be an option for you to have. Um, maybe some friends over and have a Ramadan barbecue outdoors because it's much more fun cooking outdoors. It's a little bit hot, but that's okay. <laughs> a little bit of turmeric powder. Oh no, before that, sorry. I have to cut the piece first. 